court. Everybody, once you see your coaches, coaches not even on the field. So once you see the coaches on the field and giving all the energy, it makes you want to play better. And if it doesn't, then you're just in the wrong sport, honestly. Now, Kai, in your opinion, how, how can you guys win spring practice? Just competing. Just everybody, don't don't take it as a, it's just a practice. Treat it like a game and treat it like we want to get better every single day. How did you approach the off season and studying your craft and getting better? Uh, especially watching, I watched every game at least a hundred times. Like every day I was- The whole game or focused on you? The whole game, just to see what I can help other players. And my whole thing is if I'm the only one doing good and everybody else, the whole team is, going to be bad. So I just want to be able to help everybody as much as I can, and I want everybody to be able to help me. But if they see me slacking or something, I want them to get on me just like I'm going to get on them. What did you notice as you watched these games? Is there something that you picked up on in your team? Just, it'll just want to, for the most part, honestly. Uh, everybody, all 11 on the field has to want to be great. Everybody wants to, has to want to work together and do their job. Everybody has to do their job. No heroes. You guys go, you're going to Spring, you're only going up against your own quarterbacks. You got KJ coming in here. How much has he maybe tested you guys? I mean, he's a little bigger quarterback, a little stronger arm. How much has he tested you guys maybe in the in the backfield? Oh, he tested us a lot. I mean, he doesn't know us, and we didn't. We don't have a good feel for him. So it's an open open battle. He's trying us, and we trying him at the end of the day. So it's good just to be able to compete and have a new new face around. Working on the back end with Damari, how do you feel like your guys' skill sets complement each other, and how have you kind of formed the communication and playing lots of reps together last year? Uh, it's big, me and Mari. Just we both from the same area. We played seven on seven together. Like we we played together before this, and just us coming together, and we started the whole year together. Now it's more on getting everybody set up. And just because me and Mari, me and Mari could tweak some things, so if. We have that communication. We have that trust in each other to be able to still produce. I asked him about the depth chart in the secondary specifically. You got three guys from Seminole. You got Braden from Lake Mary. You got yourself from Apopka. Are you starting to see that kind of vision being laid out for the one when you were being recruited that you know, the the backyard was going to be something that was important? And how is it? You know, two years to three years later, almost. How does it kind of like hit you to see as many familiar faces come in here as, as possible? I mean, that was the plan from the jump, getting recruited them and taking that step to come here was to show that, okay, it's nothing wrong with being here at UCF, and we want other guys, other hometown guys to just stay home and, and make their hometown great. So I feel like it, it's coming along and it's going to keep coming along. And not even just in the DB position. D-line, we got John Walker from Osceola there, from Osceola, Cave Call from Apopka. So, like, just everybody coming together. Tyrese on the offense side from Houston, like, every, it's going it's to get better. Is that your recruiting pitch? Something, yeah, a lucky. Yeah. <laughs> Demar said that you you, uh, he, you you sometimes remind him about the fact you you beat him a couple times. Is that oh yeah, we always talk about that. I mean, some, <laughs> whenever the topic comes, it's a big topic. So we go. He beat me, I beat him. But I mean, I, I won more times. So I, <laughs> how do you like? I kind of win. How do you like Apopka's chances against Sunwell this year? Honestly, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, I can't speak. I, I, I'm always going to root for the Blue Daughters for sure. I can't speak when I'm not on. Yeah, so at the end of the day, we're going to see. Nikai, what are you hoping you and the defense can show in the first scrimmage on Saturday? Aggressive, being aggressive, and tackling. That's the, that's the main part. Tackling and stopping the deep threat. What fuels you? My family, uh, my brothers, just – knowing how much people rely on me. And so it's like, it got to work. It got to work out. DeMar said you guys are, uh, the defense has done a good job of, especially so far in spring of, you know, disguising things, changing things up. Do you feel like that's kind of been the end point of emphasis? Is oh, yeah. A lot better than what you guys did maybe last year? For sure. Disguising is a big thing, just being able to miss with the quarterback head and not give him an easy read and an easy throw. So disguising is a lot. Pressures we come in with. It's gonna be it's gonna be different. You guys did more than you got than you did last year. Yeah, for sure. What kind of feel do you have for Ted Roof as a play caller and or stylistically as the way he wants the, the whole defense to operate? I mean, he's an older guy, so he has a lot of experiences uh, just on how the game of football changes and evolves. So he he has that experience and he's big on details. So he's gonna be he uh, he's a good fit for us.
Yeah, he, uh, I think it was Demari mentioned that Addison's big on details as well. So, uh, what kind of things are you guys looking at? That are they looking at specifically when it comes to details? Like other examples you can kind of provide that you know, the, the way that they either coach or the way that they, the things they expect of you? Uh, splits, just paying attention to splits and down and distance is a big, big thing that uh, we're paying attention to more. And just formation, just anticipating what's coming before it comes so you can react faster. How important is uh, spring to setting the tone for this fall season? I think I think it's a good starting point. I mean, we haven't played football since December, so and we still have that bad, bad taste on how the whole season went, honestly. So just being able to come and compete and, and sh- have a good thing to look forward to from going to summer and fall camp. I've been going against him for the last two years. Javon Baker has a chance to get drafted. Something like that maybe be a day two option. What are teams? You know, what are front offices? What are teams? You know, what should they be looking at when they think about taking Javon Baker? Uh, athleticism for sure, and just being able to make his contested though. I mean, contested catches. He. Once the ball goes in the air, he, he is most likely he's going to come down with it. So just knowing you're going to get a dog, 